all things you can do if you happen to live near someone who has this technology. There are there's film you can put on your windows that blocks uh, some of the radiation coming in. So if you happen to live near a cell phone tower, for example, and, and you you know you can't you can't move for whatever reason, um, and you just want to minimize your exposure, you can put a special film on your windows that will reflect anywhere from 80 to 90 percent of the radiation back out. Um, there's fabric you can put on your windows as curtains that um, uh, allows a little bit of the light in and uh, keeps the radiation out. Extremely sensitive people put a, put take this fabric and make a canopy around their bed so that during the night they're sleeping in a very, very clean environment, and that allows their body to recover, and so during the day they can tolerate it somewhat better as a result. Some people wear clothing that has silver fabric, silver fiber, mesh, uh, mesh uh, and that reflects the radiation. Some electrically sensitive people swear by it and others can't use it. It irritates them. So it's a very individual um, thing as to whether or not it, it actually helps you or, or has no effect or makes it worse. But we've measured the radiation blockage and it's, it's considerable with these, these materials. Do you think, because I know I thought, oh, good, well, I'll just get my kids... I'll make them, you know, some clothing out of this mm-hmm. um, radiation blocking right. fabric, and then they'll be fine in school. And then someone said, "No, don't do that because because of the silver in the fabric, mm-hmm. it then becomes highly conductive. So if you're looking at a high electrical environment like a school, mm-hmm. you may be blocking the radiation. But now the child the is conducting." Which is, you know, you've sort of 12 or a dozen, you've changed one for, you know, something that can be equally bad. So then I'm like, well, now what do I do? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But some people who are very sensitive, they will, they will wear uh, something over their clothing when they travel, so they're not exposed as much. And they do claim that they, they feel much better as a result. So, as I say, it has to be an individual thing as to whether or not you feel better. And if, once your body becomes that sensitized, it will tell you whether or not it's, it's a good thing for your body to have or not. Most of us are so out of tune with our body that we just don't, you know, we, we have tension and pain and we don't even, we're not even aware of it. Uh, but electrically sensitive people don't have that luxury and um, they're very sensitive and, and can tell whether or not something is good for them or is harming them. But by the same token, then we're back to that same dilemma of, okay, well, it makes me feel better, so now I can continue to go to school, but we don't mm-hmm. know what the long term long term correct correct of of the biological processes being disrupted in the body are going to be that's so right. in a way, I'm almost thinking you know that's it's 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 half a solution, but if it means that in five or ten years your child's going to have cancer or leukemia, mm-hmm. well, what's the point yeah mm-hmm. it's like you know, I mean, I think as as people become more and more educated, I mean, my own children, because they read my blog posts and we discuss things, mm-hmm. my eldest son, who's 10, he got to the point where he said, you know what, I- I'm not going to school. And, and my husband, of course, had a fit. He's just using this as an excuse to stay home from school. And mm-hmm. I said, well, you know what, he actually is, is very cognizant of the facts. And so I said, okay, well, if you're going to stay home from school, why don't you do a report? Mm-hmm. on this technology and on the dangers of it, especially pertaining to children. So the week that he stayed home, that's what he did. And, and then we actually turned that into a website, mm-hmm. radiationeducation.com. And because the kids are now starting to say, well, you know, meanwhile, everybody's telling us it's safe, but we're the ones who are there getting radiated every day mm-hmm. while mom and dad stay home in a low-radiation environment. Right. You know, it's, and so it's just, you, you start to go, I'm living in a surreal world here because I'm sending my kids. Like, if you said to me, would you work in an office that has Wi-Fi? I would say, no way. Mm-hmm. But yet I'm sending my kids to a school that has wireless because I'm feeling so trapped. I've got opposition from my husband who says, look, it's it's nuts. They are going to be okay. They're strong. Look at them. They're fine. Do you know what I mean? There's Mm -hmm. so much. It's it's almost like the vaccination issue when it first came out, Mm -hmm. right? And you're like, you're the only one saying the world is round and everybody else is saying it's flat. It's it's very similar to that, yeah. And the fact that, you know, 90% of the population thinks the world is flat doesn't make it flat. Exactly. So um, it's not a it's not a popularity contest as to whether the information is correct or not. Someone's correct. We don't know who, but we will in a few years' time. Well, and also then you have to look at the existing cancer rates. I yeah. mean, they're one in three. 
Oh, it's horrible. I mean, come on. Obviously, there's something very wrong with what we're doing Mm -hmm. on a daily basis to have cancer rates that are that high. That's right. Actually, Dr. Sam Millen just wrote a a book called um, Dirty Electricity, and he believes that cancers, heart disease, depression, diabetes are all diseases of of our, you know, 21st century diseases, and he's linked every single one of them to electromagnetic exposure in studies that have been done. And if he, he's not just talking about this microwave radiation, he's talking about power lines, dirty electricity, things like that, right? That's right. He's talking about the whole, whole kit and caboodle, yeah. Yeah. Because that's another argument you see on, on internet sites where people are, you know, say there's a news story and then people post their comments mm-hmm. and they're like, you know, these are the same Luddites. I remember this whole thing erupted when, you know, electricity and people were going crazy over power lines and look, it's yeah. all fine. Nothing ever happened with that. And I'm saying everybody is so misinformed. Well, actually quite a bit happened. We now have, um, low frequency magnetic fields classified as a class 2B carcinogen, which means possibly carcinogenic. And that was based on childhood leukemia studies, so so something did come out of that. Mm-hmm. And we know it's occupationally related to various types of cancers, from breast cancer to brain tumors and to leukemia in workers who are exposed to high levels of magnetic field in their jobs. So 